Hey guys, uh, so today I am using this countertop epoxy and I'll be making these coasters. Um, so I'm just putting almost three ounces of my pate in a clear cup. This would be my first time using countertop epoxy. Um, this is a high heat resistant one, so um, I'm really excited about using this in my coasters. So I'm taking three ounces of my pate from this one. And then I'm taking three ounces of my part B. So as you all know, the part A is the resin and part B is the hardener. So the hardener for this one looks a little yellow than my other epoxies, which are um, probably not this heat resistant. So maybe to make it more heat resistant, this is the reason that this hardener is a little bit yellow. Um, so I'm, um, this is my six ounces and I am slowly going to be mixing this. I uh, will be pouring these uh, four geod coaster molds which I showed in my yesterday's stories as well and I hope those are visible today also so um, these were sent to me by one of the Amazon sellers and uh, I wanted to try how these work so that I could uh, show you guys uh, what all the shop has um, so while I'm mixing I am putting myself away from the cup i'm not talking or breathing over that if i'm not talking i'll be wearing my respirator to be doubly safe and hello to everybody who is joining in now guys uh, I'm just mixing the epoxy for a complete three to four minutes. Uh, so if you have any questions, type in the comments so that I can see and address those. Okay, so yeah, for the sides of the molds, uh, I'll be putting up a video on the IGTV. I just made a video on how I do that. So the complete process would be there. Um,
So these are the new molds that I'll be using for the first time today. And I had put these on my stories yesterday. Uh, so these came with few um, foil flakes in different colors. Uh, they are small boxes. Uh, the, the gold, silver, and the uh, colored ones, which are mainly copper, red, and gold, all together in one. Let me just show you that once I'm done mixing the resin. But I'm not using those today in these coaster molds because uh, I have these uh, small uh, mica chunks that I make on my own. So I'll be using these today. We are making these geod coasters which can be used as coasters as well as some table decor and uh, these look really nice when you put it on your center table or any other place like your consoles uh, maybe on easels as well like i have a couple geod coasters which i made specially to be um, sitting on my easels on my uh, side tables uh, in my living room so those look really great plus whenever you want to put a drink on you can straight away just put that down and it remains in the same shape and the beauty is um, like preserved once you let your resin cure completely I let all my resin uh, artworks cure for at least four weeks before I use any hot mugs or cups over that. The resin is almost on the verge of being mixed completely I'm just making sure that there is nothing on the edges or on the bottom of the cup and uh, since this will be my first experiment with this epoxy um, so let's see how this will work this looks a little thicker to me than the other tabletop epoxy that I use uh, so this is going to be fun okay so the epoxy is mixed now um, if you guys have any um, suggestions for the color combinations you can let me know but I'm thinking of using this cocoa and autumn spice from counterculture DIY so I'm thinking I'll uh, just make some patterns with these two because I've not tried these ones and they have been sitting in my studio for a long while I am really excited about these colors. So the best part about uh, mixing your epoxy in the clear cups is that you can see through those and check if there are any more streaks of your part a or part b that look not completely mixed to you you can still keep on mixing that once you start working with any brand of resin you know how that will behave and how long that will take you 
to mix it completely without the risk of getting uncured peas so I'm just making sure that I have mixed it enough okay so now we will start with a couple of smaller cups like these and uh, before I start putting my pigments I will go ahead and put a very thin layer on my coasters a very thin layer guys as I always say this is one of the most important things to do i have made a video just on this process uh, why this is important uh, and it is saved in my igtv um, so it was before my flower uh, tutorial in the pink molds so do watch that before you venture into um, pouring your resin for any kind of casting so what I'm doing now is I am helping my epoxy to go on the edges So with my same stir stick, I am just pushing it towards the side lip of my coaster mold. And I can see there are a lot of bubbles, so I will tell you what you can do to get that flawless, bubbleless, uh, bubble free, I would say finish in the end I always say when I am doing any of these videos do watch the steps carefully while I'm doing and uh, while I save all these in the IGTV do re-watch them because every time you will understand those uh, smaller uh, tips or the the practical way of doing these uh, somebody just gave me a very <laughs> beautiful compliment on my facebook page um, which is asmita7071 so that's my facebook page uh, somebody just said that she's so envious that uh, i always get this flawless finish and she's been trying a lot um, to understand the whole process so uh, my reply to that was that uh, just keep practicing and just re-watch uh, the tutorials that I'm doing free for all of you so that uh, you exactly know how to get that because what I make here in these tutorials, in these live sessions, is exactly what you see. So there is nothing hidden, no secrets kept. Um, I try to share everything that I am doing to get that finish. So just re-watch if you are confused about any of these things that's the whole point of saving those uh, sessions
okay so I need some more at the places where I think the mold is not covered the first time when you use any new mold that will behave well differently from uh, when it starts to be used and reused on daily basis so just be patient with that like for me right now there are some bare spots that are happening in the coastal but um, with this stir stick I am just pouring enough um, at those places because I know uh, silicon doesn't like resin and vice versa so the the material these are made of tries to repel the resin therefore you have to be really patient with that okay so what do we have in the chat did we get any questions no questions so far therefore I will go ahead and uh, I'll put my epoxy on the side before I start to heat that up and these are the pigments we'll be mixing in a short while but before that let me just heat up the epoxy a bit so that the bubbles are not there anymore and in the middle guys I have this leveling tool that I always put on my surface just to test if the surface is leveled obviously you will get a great finished product Okay, so I went ahead and heated up the epoxy a bit with my heat gun and uh, that was on the low setting because uh, this particular brand I think is having a lot of uh, air bubbles when mixed. Okay, so now in a 
smaller cup, I will be putting my pigments. So I need a stir stick and I'm taking this autumn spice, which looks like a copper to me. Um, so I'm putting that in the smaller cup. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, so these both are like um, old pigments, but I never got a chance or interest to use these. But today, suddenly I thought maybe I am in the mood for autumn. <laughs> or something that uh, or maybe I'm missing my coffee okay so those who know me I I have this trouble with opening these new packs um, so it takes me a little longer than normally people would to open these uh, packs of that are made up of plastic. Um, so yeah. All right. So there we have our autumn spice and guys the epoxy is getting very hot now i can feel that so maybe it is the reaction with this pigment so i have to be really really quick with that Okay, so with the cocoa haze, um, I'm going ahead and I'm just pouring it on the edges. Similarly on the next one. Alright, so now the autumn spice, as they call it, I am taking the stir stick out and I know there is still a lot more which is not mixed. taking the next color and generously pouring it 
with my darker color. So I'll heat it on my low setting again. And now um, I need a uh, I'm taking this very very thin stir stick okay and now I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing with this I will just try to bring that in a bit no, I think it's a little hot, so that won't move much. Yeah, so the resin is hot and it won't budge. Therefore, uh, let's leave it like that. And uh, I have this. Uh, Up of my gems or the crystals that I poured in the middle sitting close to me let me just grab that Okay, so um, I had some leftover resin in the cup. What I'm doing is I'm trying to take whatever is there on the stick and then I'll leave it to cure because uh, um, it's almost on the verge of curing because of the heat and the outside temperature um, so I have some of my brown as well and I'll show you what has happened to this look um, this is how fast this one cured so um, this is about the new epoxy brand that I used it's countertop epoxy and they are very particular about setting your uh, studio temperature according to their instructions um, whereas there are a couple of other brands that we were using before and uh, those were really great for about 30 minutes or so working time in this temperature so if you are going for a high heat resistant uh, epoxy then you have to be really quick about what you're planning to pour um, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking out these small crushed um, crystals that I make on my own and uh, 
I'm just putting a little bit in this one because uh, I think there is some scope of adding some more and uh, then probably something else because there is a lot of uh, bubbles right now so I'm going ahead with my heat gun and on high heat setting I am giving it another blow of heat All right, so that was my experiment with countertop epoxy and uh, it's the premium epoxy and um, yeah, it heats up very fast and it cures very fast. So there is no scope that whatever bubbles right now are there in my colored, uh, the pigmented epoxy, I cannot uh, get hold of those because that's already in the process of curing um, therefore I might use another epoxy for this temperature not great for the warmer weather uh, any questions guys did I miss any questions here Um, so those who joined in today, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in a while um, while I just put this away and get the other one on the work surface. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.